which moves us on to, to your piece and lead piece in your column today about the COVID inquiry, the two main points of which so far appear to have been that um, the, uh, the, sort of the, the, the lead barrister who got up to make the opening speeches decided it was all down to Brexit and uh, austerity from the Tory party um, that caused us to have a worse COVID than anybody else. Yes, he's an idiot. Yeah, he is. Uh, an absolute idiot. And he is, uh, this is Hugo Keith, uh, uh, Casey, uh, who is a, a long-standing Remainer, uh, very, very anti-Brexit. And he, he kind of, it's quite useful in a way, uh, because if anybody was expecting anything uh, of importance uh, to come out of this COVID inquiry, uh, Hugo put them right on day one. Yes. By saying that, you know, Basically, Brexit caused it, and the and the ghastly Tories. Uh, they're they're not even going to consider for a moment uh, whether or not uh, uh, lockdowns were a good idea. They're not even considering that. You know, they take it for granted. The lockdowns weren't only brilliant, but we should have more of them. Lockdowns <laughs> every day. Incredible. It really is. And also, they're not even going to consider certain questions like if there were to be another pandemic and if there were to be, um, you know, rules that would have to be put into place, should we not construct some red lines so that some of yeah. the things that happened last time don't happen again? No, they're, they're not considering any of that stuff. And, you know, it's so typical of our country. You know, we hand over these inquiries to idiots, uh, which we've done. Uh, and... Uh, uh, they're great money spinners. <laughs> this one, mm. this one is never going to end. I think that it's taking public representation in 2026. <laughs> That's three years of these lawyers coining it every week. You know of our money. The Swedes had a uh, investigation into COVID. Mm. Uh, it was concluded very quickly, and they decided that. Sweden had been fundamentally correct in not applying lockdown. Yes. You know, you know, uh, why we can't even examine whether lockdowns were a good idea or not, I simply don't understand. And I was slightly uh, disheartened as well when I learned that anyone who attends the COVID inquiry uh, must take a COVID test. Absolutely huh? fatuous bit of grandstanding twattery. Uh, yes. Sorry, I didn't mean twittery. <laughs> twittery. That's what I, that's what yeah. I heard. Yes, yes, so that's, that's certainly that's fine. what I um, Apologies uh, if anybody yeah. heard anything else. Yes, it would be appalling if they did. It would. And I apologise uh, uh, for, 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 to those who misconstrued my description <laughs> of people like Hugo Keith Casey. Yes, I mean, people um, can misconstrue things. It's a, it's a real problem in our society at the moment. It is, it is, it is a real problem. But, you know, you know it, it, I'm half surprised that they're not all wearing masks. I mean, they may be. I haven't seen any yeah. shots Side, wearing masks and keeping themselves socially distanced. There is a, on the left, on the liberal left, there is a, a real nostalgia for lockdown. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a bit nostalgic about lockdown. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, but um, you know, there is amongst that section of the population which never really wanted to go to work in the first place, a great nostalgia for those days when everyone could stay at home. Mm. Uh, I, I, I think... I think the government should probably intervene a little bit. Um, if well, it's they should allowed. certainly speed it up and, at the very yeah. least, uh, give us yeah. an, you know, a, a date for an interim kind of measure or some kind of interim recommendation. Because, as you point out in your column today, by the time this is published, we'll all be dead from the next we'll pandemic. Dead. Yeah, I, I, but, but it's always the same. I mean, whenever we have a public inquiry in this, in this country, the first one just tells lies. Mm. <laughs> it always right. does. Yeah. The first one tells lies, and we saw that with the Iraq War. We saw that with the uh, Good Friday, with the with the uh, Bloody Sunday. Yeah. Uh, always, the first one just is a tissue of lies, which is what I think this one will be on COVID. But then, you know, maybe thirty years down the line, uh, there will be another public inquiry once everyone involved was dead. Um, uh, you know, all the all the scientists, all the epidemiologists, which will decide actually. Probably lockdown was a was a was a ropey idea, frankly. Yes. Uh, and we shouldn't try it again. Well, I think, but, like you yeah. said, I mean, at the beginning we were all kind of slightly stunned into submission because it did look pretty awful. But by the time yeah. sort of the summer had arrived and the pubs yeah. had reopened, you're kind of going, well, what's the big deal here? No, that that's exactly that's exactly right. And 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 as time progressed, a whole bunch of things which Susan Mitchie insisted uh, 
uh, would would stay with us for the rest of our lives, such as masks. She thought masks oh, were yeah. really bad idea. And we then it's now proven that they were of no use to man nor beast. Social distancing, she thought, was a good idea. Well, I would be happy to socially distance myself from Susan Mitchie, but <laughs> uh, but you know. Uh, we, we also found that social distancing actually didn't make much difference either. No. Lockdowns, lockdowns. I think John Hopkins University, which I have mixed opinions about, uh, recently did a study which suggested that lockdowns had saved the lives of 3,000 people worldwide. Yes. And that is without, you then have to say, well, well how many people did they kill? <laughs> you know, which is... Right. The other yeah. rather inside but of that's the, the other thing. I mean, I would like to have a, 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 a section of this COVID inquiry questioning the sense and questioning the the wisdom of using computer models to predict yeah. something that's about to happen, which in most cases never happens because you get the model that you design. If you want to put in a load of statistics that say loads of people are going to die if this happens, then the model will come back and tell you loads of people are going to die. Yeah, that's 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 exactly right, and. You know, the things which we ought to learn from COVID, perhaps the government was uh, a bit slow, I don't know. Um, uh, perhaps it lagged behind France and Germany right in those initial weeks, I'm not sure. Certainly, I think there was a problem uh, with uh, the, the question of care homes and the way in which we treated the elderly. Yeah. Uh, and that, I think, would be rightly formed the basis of, a, of an inquiry, which is next time there is a, a, a pandemic, which which there is going to be at some point, is there something we can put in place which protects the elderly whilst allowing everybody else to get on with their lives and maybe suffer a week's infirmity, you know? Yes. Well, well that quite. would be the sensible thing. Mm. But they're incapable of being sensible, certainly with old Hugo there. Yeah, uh, sense is not something that they are imbued with in large amounts, I'm afraid. But, it's not. Um, no. Another place yeah. where uh, sense seems to have gone down the gurgler uh, is the army. Apparently... Um, the old able seaman and rifleman terms may be disappearing thanks to Sir Patrick Sanders, uh, who thinks that uh, they sound a bit too masculine. Do they? Do they? Oh, I'm sorry, Patrick. What an awful thing. Oh, what a terrible thing. What's it? Has he suggested what he's going to replace them well, with? Well, funnily enough, there's no uh, actual alternative yet, but this guy is the chief of the general staff, um, and he says that it's important to um, make sure that we are more inclusive in regiments and that... Uh, better not to have words that end with the letters M-E-N, so that will also yeah. uh, do away with guardsmen as well. Yeah, well, Putin will be trembling in his shoes, won't he? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You remember that the RAF uh, lied to the, uh, to the country mm. not so long ago by saying that uh, actually they weren't discriminating against uh, straight white men when they were taking people on. Um, and then it was later revealed that they've now paid out 5,000 quid to a whole bunch of straight white men yes. who were discriminated against. I see the same thing is happening in the army. Uh, this, And this also, we've gone to such a degree now in wokery that despite the fact that several women who are in the army have said, who are qualified to be riflemen, have said to the army, we're quite happy to be called riflemen, you don't have to change it. Instead of saying, OK, then we won't change it, the army is saying... Well, perhaps you've just been conditioned to accept that, and yeah. maybe what we should do is give you an alternative so that you feel more included. Well, they already said yeah. they feel included. No, no, but they need to go on a course, Mike. Uh, they need to, they need, oh. need to go on a course to get their to get their brains set in the right direction because clearly they're not thinking properly yeah. at the moment. I mean, it's just this, this identitarian politics is is tearing this country apart. Uh, it, it 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 ensures that. All these different people, whether it be women, whether it be uh, gays, whether it be lesbians, whether it be transgender, whether it be black or white, into their separate silos where they each have a bit of victimhood to cling to, uh, rather than doing what you would have thought the British Army would be all about, which is pulling together, being united and working for one another. Uh, but it's all gone. It's a bit old-fashioned, that, I'm sorry to say. You know, it is, isn't it? There's only certain people you're supposed to be helping out, not other people. And you can get in the way of other people in order to help certain yes. other people, and that's fine. Yes. But you have to be selective while being inclusive. It's very confusing. You know, it is, isn't it? Yes. It's not yeah. easy to follow.